All right, so we are back with page five. Hopefully you watch the Disney version of Peter and the Wolf so that you can fill this out. You should have had strings for Peter. The bird is played by the flute. The duck is played by the oboe. The cat, one of my favorite animals, is played by the clarinet, which is what I played in high school. So that's like my favorite character in the story. Grandfather is played by a bassoon. The wolf is played by French horns and the hunters are played by kettle drums. Now, we are doing this so that we can hear the different instruments that are representing the characters so that in the next version that we have to view, um, you kind of get a better understanding of what's going on. So now we're gonna flip back to page four and on page four, you have your compare and contrast. So story number one is the story that you read by Prokofiev. And story number two is the Disney version. So you're going to compare and contrast these, okay? So you're telling me the things that Disney has. And you're telling me the things that the story that you read have has in it. And then you're telling me how they're the same, okay? So... Let's do a couple of these together, and then you can do the rest on your own. So you're going to need at least three in the middle, and we're going to have three on each side. So we'll do one in each spot, and you come up with the rest, okay? So what does the Prokofiev story have in it? So let's think about setting, first of all. The setting in the story you read was a green meadow. I'm going to get really good at writing upside down. Green meadow. The Disney one was not so much the same. It was snowing. Okay? So there you have the setting. Um, talk about the animals. Um, Talk about the ropes. Talk about the hunters. Um, talk about the duck. What happens with the duck in the two stories, okay? So remember, you're telling me what they have. You're not telling me uh, green meadow, no green meadow. I don't want that. You're telling me green meadow, snow. That's the setting. So if you're going to tell me about the animals, you tell me something about the animals that the Prokofiev story has, the Prokofiev story has, and you're telling me something about the animals that the Disney story has. Okay, in the middle, something that's the same, something that's the same. So they have the same characters, right? So the same characters. Okay, they have the same characters. What might be something else that these two stories have that are the same? What's something else they might have is the same. So think about it. Um, they might have, uh, let's see, I'm gonna use my sheet here. Um, oh, so, they have the same characters, right? So they have the same characters. They have Peter. They have Grandfather. Um, uh, something else that they have um, is that the wolf chases the duck. Okay, so I'm going to do bullet points so that we see where they are. All right, so you give me two more things about the Disney story. You give me two more things about Prokofiev's story, and then you give me one more thing of how the two stories are alike. Yes, there is something besides same characters and the wolf chasing the duck. Yes, there is one more thing that they have in common that you can find. There's probably more than one. Um, actually, there is more than one. So go ahead and write those in, okay? And tomorrow we will review the character traits from page three. 
we will go over our response booklet here for the compare and contrast. And then we will get into our next section of Peter and the Wolf.